when I was 10 years old, I told Andrew Joyce that I would be on the 2018 US Olympic team. And here I am. Nathan Chen. I'm speechless. This is me. Makes you laugh. That's Chuckle. five. The and first time ever. And enjoy himself against the best I've in the world. The Javi Fernandez is the user who's on you. And when you're done, gorgeous. This man right here. Quad toe. This is I America's can't. America's can't. Nathan Chen. Ultimately, my dream is to stand on top of that podium at the Olympics. I know there's a lot of things that I have to do to make that happen, but through all the experiences that I've had over the past couple years, I definitely know how to handle myself in high-pressure events, and I'm ready for it. Nathan Chen has earned for the short program 82.27 points. He is currently in 13th place. <laughs> I would say it's probably 70% mental, 30% physical. Once you're in competition, you know, your body's already trained, you're already capable of doing everything. It's really where your mind is at and how you approach the situation. Barely holds on to that. Ouch. So disappointing. Look at that technical wow. score. A major mistake there. We will there be nowhere the near it all like to Han Yu's technical this score. Was not Chen in combination. doesn't have the experience to build in really that kind of a situation. This not was the height his of the spring. 13th place. 82 and change. It's way more emotions than I thought I would feel. Both short programs were probably the worst programs I've done my entire competitive career. You know, I'd never been in that position before. I, I was so low in the ranking. I just wanted to get back on the ice, redeem myself, build up my confidence again, know that I can still do it. Next to skate from United States of America, Beagle. Nathan Chen. Records, setting standards. Quad toe. This is the Nathan Chen we know. So far, he's done five quads. As number six, the real Nathan Chen just showed up at the Olympics. He's superhuman. I mean, as soon as I, you know, first started skating, I really loved being on the ice. It was just, it felt like my second home. But over the years, it kind of just felt like something that I did. I knew I was good at it. I knew that I was competitive. And really it wasn't until, you know, pretty recently, even at this competition, I, like, every time I skate, I find, you know, myself loving the sport more and more. This isn't the end of my career, I still have a long career ahead of me, and so, the sport is truly my passion. If I could sum up my Olympic experience in one word, it would be grateful. 